Hello and welcome to this Fallout 4 settlement tour video. This is Extreme Wackazoid and today we are looking at Taffington Boathouse. So Taffington Boathouse is a boathouse and a house and uh, area with water and so I wanted to use all of that uh, with my build and hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do with this space. Uh, one of the first things that I do when I decide uh, uh, when I'm building is where I'll put my power source and I usually put it up high and um, so that way it will be uh, free from attackers they would pretty much have to hit it with a grenade and I definitely put some barriers around it because attackers will definitely go after your power so source and so that is up there with some concrete on around it and so that would be kind of the third floor um, that building has a burnt out roof and so you have to account for that if you're going to use that second floor and so I uh, have a couple of water purifiers here uh, you can fit a lot of water purifiers here if you'd like and that has some good resale value so it would make sense to do that but I like for it to look a little realistic and so I just have a couple there um, and my defense turrets is mini guns and, and heavy lasers and I raise them up on these ball track supports so that way it's free from melee attackers all of my settlements I'm growing mute fruit it's the most efficient f food to grow and I have about seven or eight settlers here. I think it's uh, the most realistic to just have an efficient number of farmers, uh, four vendors, and a provisioner. And so I'll take you through this space and uh, give you some ideas of what you can do. And I'll go first to this um, area that I actually built. And so what I wanted to do here was uh, to have it go uniform between what I've built and what was existing already and to have it built over the water and with some walkways in between and so there's a number of different materials being used here I like for it to look pretty junky uh, so it's a little more realistic with stairways I look to put some lights going up it so that way you can see it uh, when you're going in at night and so this area is just some residences. I like these beds and these shelving units. Uh, so there's four beds in here. And uh, going across here is uh, just a little bit of a walkway and that is these uh, plywood that you can get from Unlock Settlements Mod with a uh, cement barrier uh, so you don't fall in. And so this is a restaurant area. I like to have a restaurant area in my settlements because settlers will come and congregate here at night after a hard day's work and line up behind in line and then it'll look like they're sitting at these park benches and eating food and drinking and if you build these kind of bars here they will sit in these stools and look out over the water and one thing I like to do is place items in the shelves so it looks like they're actually selling something and if I have space with the restaurant, I like to have it so it looks like it uh, is a functioning restaurant. So I use OC decorators to place these items. And so there's some cabinetry here and an oven and a grill, uh, sink, refrigerator, and a locker. And this right here is maybe the hardest thing to build in this space was to have a walkway that goes through and over. And so this goes all the way up to the existing structure and then there's this little burnt out hole of this railing and so that's where I was able to fit a plywood um, with some scaffolding barriers here. And then going out and around uh, I have some turrets facing out on top of this awning and then right here is um, an outhouse restroom and so this goes over the water uh, so it'd be a proper sewage system and there's some lighting in here so you can see in at night and so this is the actual boat house and so what I figured was it'd be nice because there's this uh, kind of stairway 
to have it so that uh, my settlers could go swimming. Uh, they don't actually go swimming, but it would uh, be nice to have a space that looks like they do. And so here is, uh, with OC Decorator, some towels, some um, diving equipment, and uh, radiation, um, de-radiatorizing, I forget the word of it, uh, and a sink, and another a shower here as well so they can clean off after they go swimming. And it would be kind of gross to go swimming right next to your outhouse, but hey... This is Fallout. And I have some turrets over here on top of these awnings. And so I wanted to use this building to the best of my abilities. And so here in this first floor is some more residences with some shelving. Pretty uniform beds. I have my settlers all wearing lounge equipment. I wanted it to look kind of like a lounge beach type vibe uh, and I like for them to have the same outfits because it looks pretty creepy and it all has ballistic weave and ballistic weave in their hats as well and these summer short outfits also and so up here is my other vendors and so here's kind of a little lounging space with some nice couches and a uh, coffee table and it's actually hard to fit a lot into this second floor and so I did the best I could particularly because there's this little wall here that you can't really get rid of and so I was able to fit a, a general store vendor here and that you're able to actually go in and around if you'd like and I use OC decorator to place items onto the shelving and what I do is actually build the shelf outside and then I use a select all trick with a concrete pillar to raise and lower the shelving while I place items onto each shelf. And then in here, like I say, I like to drop items into the shelves so it looks like they're actually selling something. So here's the clinic vendor with a gurney and a wheelchair and some medical supplies, uh, x-ray and a clothing vendor. And I like to put these uh, armor stands up so it looks like they're actually selling clothing and I often like to put an actual water pump oh, I just accidentally used it uh, as opposed to just having a water purifier just in case something goes wrong with the electricity or something like that it's kind of a backup water source if something glitches out. So hopefully this will give you a few ideas of what you can do with the space. Uh, if you like the video, hit like and you can favorite the channel also. So thanks so much.